Strawberries are one of the crops that we have the capacity to, uh, to winter protect either through overhead irrigation or occasionally with uh, floating row covers as well. And we were able to put floating row covers over this row of matted row berries. Uh, unfortunately, we got it on after our first frost event, but we were able to protect a number of the flowers um, from freeze damage uh, with, the, with the row cover, even though the temperatures got down to 25 degrees or even a little colder at this spot. Um, so, the, the, obviously, the flowers that were damaged from, from freeze before um, have a black center. That's the receptacle. That actually forms the berry. Um, the flowers that are still alive still have a nice, green, healthy receptacle. The, um, the anthers are releasing pollen as we speak, and insects will move that pollen around and pollinate each of those uh, individual pistils, and those will be the little seeds on the outside of the berry they're responsible for the development of that tissue that becomes the berry that we actually eat. So when they're killed, when there's no seeds, there's no berry. So the flowers with the black centers are goners, but, uh, but those that are still light, light green are healthy and ready to go. And while we've probably had a, a 25 or 50% crop loss in this planting uh, because our, of our delay in getting our cover on, uh, we, have, we have salvaged a good crop this year in here just by using a floating row cover. And this is something that a homeowner can do easily to protect their strawberries. Commercially, we recommend that people use overhead irrigation because it's a lot more effective um, and it realistically, um, it's, it's the most cost effective on a large scale.